When you find out your baby didn't pass their newborn hearing screening and needs additional testing, you might be looking for more information about how their hearing gets tested. In part one of this video, we explored the ABR, or Auditory Brainstem Response Test. If you haven't seen that yet, you can find that video linked below. In this video, let's explore the other types of hearing tests your pediatric audiologist may use and talk about those differences. We'll also share what you can expect as a parent when you take your baby to the pediatric audiologist's office. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Carraway with Hearing First. We're here to help and support families just like yours who have a child with hearing loss. We want to empower you as your child learns to listen, talk, read and thrive just like kids with typical hearing. Dr. Jace Wolf is here to explain more about the hearing tests that pediatric audiologists use. He's a pediatric audiologist with over 25 years of experience working with babies and young children who are deaf or hard of hearing. Let's hear what he has to say. Hi, I'm Dr. Jace Wolf. Research has shown that auditory brainstem response or ABR test can provide a very accurate representation of what a baby can hear in each ear. Hearing healthcare professionals consider the ABR test as the gold standard in estimating a baby's hearing ability. There are also two other tests your audiologist may use that test different parts of the ear. The ear has three parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. As an audiologist, it's our job to make sure all the parts of the ear are working together to deliver audible and intelligible sound to the brain. One of the tests used to check your child's middle ear is called tympanometry. Tympanometry tests how well your middle ear works by measuring how your baby's eardrum moves and passes sound through the middle ear. This test is also a good way to check for ear infections that cause fluid to build up behind the eardrum. The other test the pediatric audiologist may use looks at the inner ear. This test is known as an OAE, or otoacoustic emission. The OAE test checks the function of special sound receptors in your baby's inner ear called hair cells. These hair cells respond to sound by moving up and down like they're vibrating to the sound. This vibration produces a very quiet sound that echoes back through the middle ear into the ear canal. This sound in the ear canal is the OAE that is measured. So when the OAE response is present, that means a baby most likely has typical hearing. If the response is reduced or absent, then a baby may have a hearing problem. Absent OAEs can mean a permanent hearing loss because the hair cells aren't working properly, or it can be a temporary problem caused by fluid in the middle ear. The OAE test is a good test to quickly determine whether a baby has normal hearing function. Your baby's audiologist will likely conduct a middle ear measurement and the OAE test to gather quick information about the ear before they complete the ABR. I'd also like to share some things you can expect before your audiology appointment. For the ABR test, your baby will need to be asleep so you'll want to keep them awake before that test. There are no risks with these tests. They are very safe and gentle. Your baby likely won't even wake up during the testing. The appointment may last about three hours, depending on what test your pediatric audiologist conducts. The middle ear measurement and the OAE test can be completed while your baby is either awake or asleep. They usually take no longer than five to 10 minutes to complete. The ABR, however, takes 30 minutes to two hours typically. And if your sleeping baby wakes up during the test, it'll take longer because you'll need to wait for your baby to fall asleep again. Your audiologist will talk with you after the test and let you know how it went and what comes next. It may take more than one appointment to have a complete diagnosis. Be patient and make sure you feel confident about the next steps when talking to your professional team. I hope watching part one and part two of these videos help you feel more comfortable about your baby's upcoming hearing test and gives you a better understanding about what to expect. And if you're still nervous about what those results might be, that's understandable. But please don't delay in having these tests completed. After all, that little brain depends on it. It's important you act urgently and make an appointment for an accurate hearing test with a pediatric audiologist right away. Wherever you are on this journey and however you may be feeling, you are not alone. 
Hearing First is here to help you every step of the way. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for new videos with tips and advice. For more resources and support, visit hearingfirst.org.